Yeah, I mean, we came out and played real well from the start, you know. Offensively and defensively the first half, it was uh, it was good to see. We gave up one big play, and uh, but we, we were pretty sound all, all first half. And, uh, you know, second half, a little disappointed with some penalties. We, we, we moved the ball at times and just didn't uh, didn't finish drives, you know. And, uh, um, you know, we got to learn from that now. we got we got to clean things up in the second half and play better. Dan, in the first half, you guys were very balanced passing and over 300 yards, but still balanced passing and rushing attack. Can you talk about that? Yeah, you know, we got a sophomore, you know, uh, Ben Carquillo is in our quarterback, and he's been getting some time on his belt, and he's getting better each week, you know. We're, probably, we're trying to give him a little more, uh, you know, as, as far as plays, you know, and throwing a ball and mixing it in there. And, uh, yeah, we got three good backs, but... You know, teams are trying to shut those three guys down, and I think the pass is now opening up. And, and Ben's making good reads and making good throws, and we're catching the football, and the line's blocking real well. Their, uh, their, jet, their jet give just gave us all kind of problems. And, and you know, we kept trying to stretch the outside and, and, and make them stretch it out. But our guys were getting hooked, and they weren't getting where they are supposed to be. And they got the edges on us, and they, they did a great job of it. Couldn't stop it. Did Morell really set up their offense with those first couple sweeps then? Um, I think so, but our kids came out flat, and I'm just, just disappointed in that. You know, a big game like this, and they just came out flat. And I thought we played better second half. We made a couple adjustments second half, and we were able to shut some of that stuff down, but by that time it was too late.